Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel tutorial. In this video, I will going to discuss about how to add data into the database using Factory and Tinker. Basically, Laravel Tinkers allow you to interact with the database without creating a routes. It is a command line tool which works with the PHP artisan command. So, Tinker is used with the PHP artisan to create the objects or modify any data. Okay. So here I will show you how to use Tinker inside the application. So now we will create a model and a migration. Okay, so to create a model, we need to use PHP artisan make model and suppose my model name is member and we will create a migration along with this. So just use minus m. Okay so model created successfully and migration created so just go to the project directory we will get a model inside the models folder that is member model and a migration file inside the database folder that is database migrations and inside the migration we will get the create migration table okay so just to modify the migration so i am adding some column that is table i am adding string so a string type that is suppose I am adding the column name name and I am going to add another column that is suppose email okay so I write email so my migration is set so now migrate this okay so before this I am adding uh, one things in the member model so just go to the member model so here I am declaring protected dollar table and the name of the table is members and I'm using another variable that is protected uh, I'm using the fillable here so fillable and inside the fillable I will create the array and inside the array I will provide the column name of the database that is name and email okay so my migration is ready and my model is ready so just migrate this so go to the terminal and use php artisan migrate okay so migration is done and if you go to our database so i am using the laravel database and here we will see the member table is created and there is a column that is name and email so let's add some data into this table so to add data we will use a factory here so let's create a factory so to create factory we need to use php artisan make factory suppose my factory name is member factory and i am using the model here so here just mention the model name that is member okay so just write it here member and just enter this okay so factory created successfully so go to the project directory and here you can see inside the database database there is a folder that is factories okay so just open this factory and you can see the member factory is created so here in the definition function we need to add our column name so just use the name and for name i will use this arrow faker and name okay and i am adding value to the email so same like dollar this faker and email okay so our factory is configured so now i will insert record using tinker so basically tinker runs with php artisan command so just use php artisan tinker okay so here we will use the model name that is member and after that we will call the factory 
okay so this is the factory and i will add suppose 100 records so here we will add the count and 100 okay so this is 100 record and after that call the create method to create records okay so we just enter this so we can see the hundreds data added into the table so just go to the database so if you go to the members table so here we can see there is hundred records inserted into our table okay so now we can understand how we can insert data using factory and tinker with the help of models okay so please comment if you have any queries about this video next day i will going to show you how to use data tables in laravel application please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video bye bye